Uh, hi, in this video, we will see buffered reader class in Java. So what is the use of buffered reader? Buffered reader class is a class to read the input data from the keyboard at runtime. So we have seen same thing with the scanner class. So this is also very similar to the scanner class for the input functions. This class is available in java.io package. Okay, scanner is from java.util package. Buffered reader is from java.io package. Using buffered reader class, we can read the data from the text files also. So we have seen same thing in the scanner also. Scanner is also useful to read data from the keyboard as well as text files. Here also same thing. So here we will use two more classes. Input stream reader class is a class to convert data from bytes to character. Then buffered reader class will read this data. In the same way, file reader class is a class to read data from the files. So with the help of file, file reader object, we can read the data using buffer reader class from the text files. Okay. So by taking one example, we'll see. In this video, we will, we will discuss about only from the keyboard. In our next video, we will discuss about reading data from the files. So let me go to Visual Studio Code. Here I created a class called buffer reader demo. Okay. So here we need to use input stream reader input stream reader isr i'll take an instance to that new input stream reader inside the bracket we need to mention system dot in that we did in the scanner class to read the data from the keyboard the same way we need to pass System dot in as a parameter to input stream reader constructor. So now we need to create an object to buffer reader class. So b r is equals to new buffer reader, and you need to pass isr object to this constructor. So that reference to input stream reader to this buffer reader constructor. So we are done. Now we'll see in system dot out dot print ln enter a name or a word, whatever it is string. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll, I'll then string name is equals to br dot we have one method called read line right we have seen that br dot read line we need to we we, have, we need to use read line method to read this information then we can print and dot order print a name okay so we'll try to execute and see what issues we will face and how to resolve and what exactly it is working. How exactly it is working? Java buffer reader demo dot Java. So input stream reader cannot find symbol. So we already discussed to read these classes. We need to import Java dot IO package. Import Java dot IO dot star. Okay. And we'll try to execute one second and see. So there is a chance that unreported exception, IO exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So there might be a chance to get an exception. So we need to throw that, throws IO exception. Okay. So exceptions we will discuss in our upcoming videos. At present, just accept as it is. Okay. What is the purpose of exception and how to handle exceptions? All these things we'll discuss. Let me execute now. You see that enter a name and enter name Krishna. You see that it is printing as this Krishna. Okay. So if I give an integer, what will happen? Sorry. 100. 
You see, printing converts. It is reading the line. Right. So this is how you can read any kind of data. So if you try to give uh, something like that, one twenty three point two three one two five, it is printing as everything is taking in the form of string. But if you want to convert this information to integer, so what I'll do. Int i is equals to b a dot read line. If I try to execute, sorry, I need to change it to i. If I give hundred, so incompatible type string cannot be converted to int, right? If I want to get the values from the keyboard, I want to read string, float, all these things. Then how you can do that? So by taking one example, we'll see. So instead of writing everything, I'll copy paste. So I already written. The same things we have. Taken in uh, scanner class also. So first I am taking employee qualification. Okay. So I am not giving print ln here. Print print means you can give the values in the same line. Print ln means it will go to the new line. Ln means line. So first I'll ask employee qualification, and I'm reading using the read line method into a string, and I'm printing that. Okay, sorry. I'll print once I read that. Okay, everything I'm printing once I read from the keyboard. Second, employee name. Employee name is also string. But when you come to the employee ID, if I give number, so that cannot be accepted. That we just saw. So we need to convert into integer. The value comes in the form of string. So we need to convert into integer. How we'll convert? Integer dot value of br dot read line. This string I need to pass into integer dot value. Same thing for float dot value of long dot value of boolean dot value of right. So we are type casting from string to another data types which we want right. So qualification name I am storing in the string, employee ID storing in the employee ID integer, salary I am storing in float, mobile number I am storing in long, employee marital status I am storing in boolean. Okay. Once I give everything from the keyboard, I'm just giving a a, a row to uh, so differentiate between these two, and I'm printing as it is whatever I have mentioned here. Okay, so we'll try to execute and see the employee qualification passed PG with first division. I see. I'll mention Krishna. Employee ID one hundred. Salary one two three four dot three four five. Employee mobile number. Marital status true. You see that as it is. Employee qualification. Pass it P with first division. Employee name Krishna. Employee ID hundred. Employee salary float number. Employee mobile number some long number. And it is Boolean. So. we can read any type of data and you can convert into what data type you want and you can use again you can print okay so but apart from string we need to convert into other values if you want to read you need to type cast a particular data type that is what we have done so this is how you can read the data from the keyboard using buffered reader class and you can convert into your own data type which you want and you can print or if you want to use for other purpose you can use according to your requirement okay so that's all in this uh, buffer reader so let me see what could be the possible interview questions so you might face what is buffer reader class in java what can be read using the buffer reader class in java so using keyboard and no, means key, uh, keyboard data and the text files so how to read data from the keyboard using buffer reader and how to read a text file using scan sorry this is buffer reader 
Yeah, I changed it, scan it to I copy paste it. So how to read a text file using buffer reader class? So these type of questions you may face in interview. So that's all in this video. Thank you.